Hi Scorpio, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your Sun, Moon and Stars reading. It's a new spread I have and I really like it and I'm hoping you will too. I want to thank you for all your likes, shares, um, comments. I love your comments. I love reading them. Um, you know, I can really feel you when I'm reading some of your stuff and also your comments are a uh, part of my reward because um, you know it lets me know that uh, that I'm speaking to you you know what I mean anyway um, I also um, wanted to ask for your help I'm kind of in a bad way and so I'm asking all my subscribers uh, if they could donate one dollar um, it would really really help me right now this is my only job and um, I'm really struggling um, and if you can't I understand you know I I wouldn't ask someone to give me what they don't have so um, and it's kind of hard for me to ask I have to say so <laughs> I do appreciate um, any support you can give me Thanks in advance. So, Scorpio. Hmm. What are the messages for Scorpio? June 21st. The summer solstice. What is their sun, moon, and stars for Scorpio? 2019. June 21st, 2019. Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got for you. So, today is the summer solstice. This is the halfway point. <laughs> I'm taking those cards through the year, you know. So, we got a couple cards already. We got the Hierophant. And we have the Four of Cups. I need one more card to, to start your... I think this one really wants to come out. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, so let me show you. So the High Priest is your son. The sun position represents your sociable self who you present to the outside world, you know, what you naturally radiate. And this is what you naturally radiate right now to the outside world. The Hierophant, the, um, you know, uh, kind of the spiritual teacher, right? The guide. You're helping others along. You're um, teaching others. You're sharing what you know. You might be at that time in your life because as we get older, you know, I think once you reach 50 and older, it's time to start sharing what you know with the generations below you. It's part of our responsibility. And I think you've reached a higher level of um, spiritual knowledge. You may have um, work in an institution, been in an institution, a hospital, prison or something. Um, you may be in some sort of committed relationship because that's also an institution. They call it institution of marriage, but it doesn't have to technically be married. But the thing is, is that you've grown and learned and um, evolved from this and and the the high priest the hierophant he gives back what he knows he shares it he teaches he guides um, so that's your son right now okay. your what you're putting out there you know excuse me <coughs> this is a hard time of year for me it's all the plants and all the the seeds are spreading and uh, my allergies trigger my asthma, which uh, I, I cough more. Plus, I started smoking. Yeah. Anyway. What? Uh, tell me more about the high priest. 
Tell me more about the High Priest in Scorpio Sun position. Okay. Whoa, you just got a ton. I didn't mean to pull out that many. Let's see what you got here. The Mother, the Lady, the Magician. Wow, this is powerful. Okay, this is powerful. Hmm. All right. So, you know, the lady, she can bring things to life. You know, she brings things to life. She's about nurturing all. And it begins with the self, you know, um, having a, 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 a nurturing all parts of the self too, right? So she's under the Hierophant, right? So, you know, um, he's, he's teaching what he knows. He's sharing his knowledge. She's sharing her, um, you know, she radiates um, nurturing, um, mothering in a way, you know, that mothering who is also the teacher again. But this is more about taking care of yourself, you know, the body, um, more of a, a physical. This is more of a physical um, sense. And then <laughs> the magician, you know, um, and then the magician. And this is recognizing your skills, recognizing that you um, can manifest you can create your own future, your own path. Um, but, you know, look at him, eh? He has his back to the view. So there's, um, I don't think your, your view of your future is that clear for you. I think you see others, you know, situations quite clear. But our own, it's not so easy, you know. Um... And I think others see you as being able to manifest just about anything. You're very creative. You're very nurturing. You're very spiritual. You have all these things going for you. And um, I think they see you also as a doer. You know, a doer. Um, but right now, you're taking some time for yourself. This is sanctuary. To me, it's the sanctuary card. Um, taking some time for yourself away from everybody, maybe only available by phone or email, um, not one-on-one uh, -on -one communication like uh, in-person communication. She has the gown of purity on, so you're um, healing in some way and um, you're just needing, like, and you have the money. See all those pentacles on the fence, on the stone fence behind her? Um, she's um, using some of the money that she has saved. She's been able to build up to nurture herself right now, to take care of herself. There's a lot of cards here talking about... I think you've been on a bit of a journey lately. Uh, I don't know how long this has been going on, but I think that you have been really doing that, trying to nurture all the parts of yourself, um, trying to heal yourself, trying to, you know, get some higher learning out of this. Like, what did I learn out of all this, what I've been through? And now what do I plan to do? What's my future plan? That's kind of what the mag magician is, you know. Um, um, and all three of these people are teachers, but also creators. They create, you know. She brings something to life. So does the magician. It's the magician is more of a, you know, a material thing like a, a something you can hold or, you know, um, realizing your potential as well. Right. But bringing things to life, pro, you know, bringing your potential to life. 
nurturing the self, the physical self, and then this is the spiritual self. So you're really taking care of yourself in many ways, and then here, um, giving yourself sanctuary, sanctuary, that time alone to rejuvenate, clear your head, um, heal, you know, and also contemplate all these things that you've just been going through, like I said. So, then, <laughs> they're kind, it's kind of an upside down pyramid, the way it's going. Then you got, besides Sanctuary, the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So, this is some sort a, of a, um, I want to say a union, but more like um, a, a, a coming together. It's like the first time you come together, you get together with this, possibly an earth sign, um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And, and it's like, because here's you on that side, and here's them, right? Here's you over here in Sanctuary, and there's them. And I think you want to come together here, but they see you need some time alone or something, and they... You know, they're, they're, you're both thinking about it. You're both thinking about it. You both want it. Um, and I think you're going to make it happen, you know. Um, but it's all in the right time. It's all in the right time. Anyway, your next card is the Four of Cups. This is your moon. This is um, what's um, hidden from you you know, as far as your emotions, how you feel, you're unaware of, okay? And the Four of Cups is dissatisfaction. It's um, feeling like you're, you're not getting your promises or what was promised to you fulfilled. And so you may not want others to know this. You may know it and want not, not want others or may not want to share it. Um, but being unsatisfied, you're promised something and you're not getting that back. Um, woo, 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 yeah. You know, I, you could be feeling some resentment, you know, because you've worked hard for this too. Whatever this is, you've worked really hard. And I don't think you feel like you're getting out of it. Um, what you were promised financially perhaps you know you're not getting financially what you've what you've you've worked I feel like you've worked just as hard that's the message I'm getting you've worked just as hard and so you I think you want to be um, not rewarded but um, Um, recognize like financially you want your man you want you what you put in it's only fair okay yeah so you know here you got the queen you got the queen of cup or queen of <laughs> cups you got the queen of swords and the six of cups and the queen of swords could be an air sign around you that has to do with the matter this matter where you're dissatisfied who you could be dissatisfied with this could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It doesn't have to be male or female. But um, this person does not hold back what they think. They, they, this person, um, really, really smart mind, quick thinker quick thinker you know they don't have to think long and hard they are always thinking and they can th and process something very quickly and um, you know she really feels she's right she's right and she doesn't care if her words hurt they're, they're gonna be said um, also I feel like you feel like this person cannot see the work that you put in. They can only see what they have contributed. They can't 
they've turned their back on what you've contributed. You know, they don't want to see that. They don't want to recognize it. They, um, you know, they and they only see. Uh, It's like when they think back to it, they think of the good times. You know, they think of all the things that they did. They're remembering their part in it. Okay, that's what I'm kind of seeing. Um, you may not be aware of that they are not recognizing your hard work at all. You may be aware of it and are not really sharing that, um, you know, with others, with people around you who support you. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I, I think you're trying not to show your dissatisfaction as much, but you're very dissatisfied, okay? So this is your the inner you kind of thing. That's what your moon is. Now, the Queen of Wands is your path of guidance. That's what your stars. She's your stars right now, Scorpio. The Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands takes action. She gets on with it. She, um, uh, she keeps the fires burning. You know what I mean? She keeps the fires burning. She, I don't think she stops for very long. And so you need to get on with your life is what I'm thinking. You need to not be waiting around for this result is what I'm thinking. The Queen of Wands gets on with it. She takes action. She moves forward. She's very observant. This woman is, is, is can see behind her without eyes, you know. Um, really, really good instincts. She's very passionate in any endeavor that she takes up. So, you know, and this is what you want. I think you want to feel passion again. You want to feel passionate about something again. Um, I think you want to start some new fires. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't think you want to tend this old fire any anymore. What the was that? What the hang dang doodle was that? What do we got here? We got a flying message. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What did I just say? What did I just say? You don't want to tend this old fire anymore. You want something new. You want to put your energy, your drive, your your uh, creative um, energy to work. You know? Ace of Pentacles. This is a new idea you have. Uh, usually the ace is the upsurge of energy, the idea, the aha, or, you know, and so you it, it hasn't formulated into a plan yet, but you're thinking, you know, you're thinking, you're, you're turning it around. And don't forget, Queen of Wands energy is uh, their planners, their they're project oriented there and so you're mulling this and you're thinking about it and you're also not really sharing it because um you know ideas are valuable they're very valuable so you're going to protect it until you're ready to move on start taking steps toward it but i think you want something new you're tired of tending this old fire you need to feel passionate about something again you know, you've been through a lot here, and I don't think also you want to put work into what this old, what you're not feeling any rewards or recognition or out, you're not getting out of it what you you did, you know, you once did. So what else are in the stars for Scorpio? What's in the stars for Scorpio? Come on, tell me. What's their path of guidance? They got the Ace of Pentacles. They got this idea. This an idea for a new source of income. A new beginning. A new 
creative passion. And I see is very creative coming along. I see this one wants to. Ha, ha. You got to trust your instincts. You got to trust your instincts. There's an inner knowing in you. You know, there's an inner knowing that you're on to something here. You're on to something. But it's about timing too, the right timing. You know, because you need to be ready and not just um, financially, you know, in a lot of ways. You're, you're uh, conjuring. You're conjuring. And, and maybe conjuring the energy to do it. But you need to trust your instincts. You're on to something here. You're on to something. You are keeping it secret, though, because you're not quite ready. You know, you're not quite ready. You're going to move forward with this because Queen of Wands does. She moves forward. She, 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 she doesn't sit on something for very long until she takes action. Or he. But it's your energy, regardless, Scorpio. You're in the... You're going to be in the take action. And it's what you need to do to to move things forward, to make a positive change. You know, that's, that's what your path of guidance, that's what your stars are. What you need to do to create positive change or just move things along, you know, where to make it better for you, right? Is there any more guidance here for Scorpio? Is there any more star guidance? Is it any more? <laughs> uh, I kind of feel it. Ooh, I got two. Okay, I'll take them. <coughs> mm, mm. Scorpio, this is really nice. Really nice. So, you got the wheel. And the Six of Wands. Look at that. So the wheel's making the plan, you know. So you're. this is where you're going to start. You're keeping it secret. You're trusting your intuition. You're waiting for the timing to be right. And then you're coming out and you're starting to make your plan. You're starting to see the vision of, of um, you know, what it can be, what you need to do, you know, the master plan. This is like the master plan, okay? Then you're going to take that master plan and you're going to make, you know, a bunch of little plans. You know, what? how am I going to figure out the travel? How am I going to figure out the advertising? How am I going to figure out the, da -da -da -da, the space or whatever it is? You're going to make all these little lists from your master list, your master plan. And she's ready to expand. See that tattoo on her arm? She's ready to expand outside herself. And then you have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is telling you that this is going to lead to recognition. You're going to be um, held in high regard, you know. Uh, I think it all comes back to the Hierophant, if you ask me. You know, being that teacher, the one to pass down, to teach others, and, and you're going to show them the way. They're all following you, eh? You're going to lead the way. That's where this is leading to. But you needed to go through this other stuff first, you know? You needed to realize that your efforts weren't being honored anymore in this old fire you were tending, you know? And, and so... You, I think you need something that's just yours now. It's just yours. You know, your baby is what I'm feeling like. Because I get a feeling like this old thing is tied to your past somehow. A past relationship. Uh, it could be a family business. It could be... Um, it could be a family responsibility or something like that, you know. It's something to do with the family. It's something to do with... Um, a relationship or your family or tradition or something like that, okay? Anyway, you're not feeling tied to it anymore. You're ready to spread your wings. <laughs> you're ready to spread your wings. So, this is really nice. And so, I hope you like this reading, Scorpio. If you do, 
please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear what you think of it, if you liked it or not. I also love to hear where you're from. As you know, I'm still making my map. And um, if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the box below. Um, to donate or to book a personal reading, please go to paypal.me slash tinkertarot. And also, um, what else? I'm always forgetting something. <laughs> leaving something out but um anyway take care and i'll talk soon bye now